Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. After all that cooped up in the house yesterday from the rain, look, the rain is gone and the sun is out. And the dogs just want to run. Oh my gosh. Hi, Memphis. And we have less ice in the yard. Less grass too, if you guys don't remember that from last year. Whoa, holy cow. Hi, hello. <laughs> what was that? Forgot how to put the brakes on? <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this how today's gonna go? Careful, there's still ice out here. It's just not the whole yard now. Oh! <laughs> Face plant. Oh my goodness. If, be careful, it's icy that way. That way, there's ice there. Crazy, crazy puppers. <laughs> Welcome to my mornings. Kira's like, this is the best, I love it so much. <laughs> What's that jump for? <laughs> Super speed, huh? Super speed. All right, ma'am. I think it's time that you get a blowout and possibly a spring bath. Yeah, this is, this is real thick and floofy back here. It's not coming out like I thought it would. Oh, there, there, now you can see it. So I'm going to attempt to give Memphis and possibly Kira a bath today because we have the pet expo that we'll be going to. And I like them to be all nice and clean and fluffy. And I also like them to be a lot less sheddy when they go into hotels. You're not getting a bath yet. You do not need one yet. When you do get one, we will film it and it will go up on the channel. What do you think? She's like, I'm so comfortable right here. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna ruin your day and you're gonna get a bath. She's getting a bath, Dad. She's getting a bath. She doesn't look very excited about it. <laughs> if we're gonna give Memphis a bath, this is the perfect time to test out this blower. What does it say? Amy? A Ayami? I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, they sent us this blower to test out on the dogs, and uh, I think we're gonna have to do that today. I will put an Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below if you guys are interested in getting one of these. So I opened it up. It has a nice stretchy hose. Nice way to connect all of the uh, nozzles. Has four different nozzles. This is the one I usually use to blow out undercoat. These two I use for drying more than anything else. This is new. I've never seen one like this before, but I can definitely see how you could get some nice undercoat. See, it's got the little nozzles on it. The other things I've noticed so far, again, haven't even turned it on yet. Power button, it has a speed dial, which is interesting. And it also has a heat option, which as you guys know, I don't normally use heat on my dogs. So the ability to turn this off is really nice. And then in the back here, this comes off. Can I do this with one hand? So this comes off and there is a filter, which <laughs> I'm sure will be full of fur because the air sucks in here and blows out the front. So we're gonna go ahead and take this outside and give it a test. Oh my goodness, that is always 10 times harder than necessary. Of course you're gonna shake right there after we just wash that cover and the couch. You gonna dry yourself off on the couch? Clean it off for me? Thanks. Thanks, Memphis. She did this on a towel in the bathroom as well. You're gonna fall. That's not for drying off on. She's like, I'm pretty sure it is. So Memphis got a bath, and now we gotta go blow out her coat. And Daddy just got home, hopefully, with some maple syrup to start boiling. Yeah, you're already beautiful. You're way whiter than you were. That white on white shampoo is insane. She got white on white shampoo and some conditioner. All right, let's go dry off. All right, so I've got everything hooked up. I'm gonna turn it on for you guys real quick so you can hear what it sounds like. Power button. That's all the way on the low setting, and you can just turn this. You can hear it amp up. I'm gonna turn it all the way up real quick. That's as loud as it gets. So that's not too bad. It's, it's actually got some good power to it. So let's see if it gets the fur off of Miss Memphis. Are you exhausted? She's like, whoa, you're not even fully done. Like you're mostly dry, but like she's got lots of loose fur still coming out. So in a little bit, I'll take her back out there and do it again. And I was just looking over Kira. Kira, I don't think you need a bath. I think we're just gonna blow out your coat. I mean, I could brighten up your whites a little bit more like I did with Memphis, but you're not really shedding. So I think you're just gonna get a coat blow. I think that's all we're gonna do for you today.
So quick final thoughts on this blower here. If you guys are looking for an affordable blower for your dogs, it's actually not bad. I like that it's got the adjustable speed on it. I like all the different nozzles that come with it. It's lightweight, which is nice. I did have to use an extension cord because the cord is only that long. <laughs> But other than that, I liked it. So if you guys want to get one, I will put an Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Look at, we got mud all over it because it's muddy outside. I think the dogs are all exhausted from being out there and they're like, okay, we're done. It's nap time. You're so poofy. It's time for this process again. Mm. Look, we're doing it different this year. Oh yeah, we have a different pan. Yeah, so we did some more research and a friend of ours also does sap. And he uses these types of pans because you can see the sur the sap is what shallower, so yeah. it should boil faster. Yeah, the surface area is more too, so. Yeah, so we Let's have see. more than this. We just, this is just what we're starting off with. Yeah. We're gonna try to get this a little warm and then we'll start adding to it. Jamie's getting some of the junk out. This will all go sh through a cheesecloth as well, but we do this too, so. <laughs> it's like you're fishing. Mm hmm How were the trees running out at the farm? Uh, there wasn't a lot for the past couple of days, but I kind of expected that because it was cold. Right. But uh, they were dripping like crazy. I actually, uh, three or four of the trees I double tapped. Did you? I, I put another tap closer to the morning sun oh, okay. side. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so now I have to- Did you check, check mom and dad's that. trees? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, I'll call them. Yeah. They, let's see how theirs are doing. See, they have a stove. <laughs> yeah, but they'll bring it over here. Oh, they will? Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, even though we know there is actually more snow coming, we are sectioning off part of the yard. You guys know we're trying to grow grass here. Some of it did survive. So, because the dogs are running all over this, we're going to section off this entire part of it, try to grow grass here over the next two months, and then we'll only have to fix that little spot over there. Sucks that we gotta take this much of the yard away from the dogs, but hopefully we'll establish some grass. All right, time to check out what dad did. You uh, you can't go very far that way, honey. Whoa, there's a gate. It's a snow fence, sweetheart. So we got the snow fence up, blocking off half the yard. And I'll show you guys too. You can kind of see how, like, look, see the footprints? The ground is just so wet and we don't have established grass. So that's pretty much what it is. We've actually got some more straw that we're gonna put down on this side because the straw actually helps with that. So some of these bare spots here, we're gonna put some more straw down. And then over here, we're just not gonna let the dogs run for a little while. Yeah, we better find some straw because right there in between the pergola and that is really squishy and she didn't want to walk there. So we'll make sure to get a nice straw path down here. You wanna go back out in the yard? It's so muddy out there. You just had a bath, you're all clean. <sighs> all right, let's go out there. You can see what dad did. Three, two, one, go! I didn't realize you were out here doing that. That'll help you pack it down. Yeah, we'll see. So Jamie's putting a bunch of straw down over the wet, wet spots. And hopefully, hopefully Eleanor doesn't eat it. She hasn't been very interested in it so far, but it's gonna help them be able to walk on this muddy mess over here. And then hopefully, like I was saying earlier, something will grow over there. Are you going swimming? Jump in, on The water's icy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh yeah, this will help a lot. Somebody on the internet was like, throw straw down on the mud and it won't, they won't sink. Check that out. I don't sink anymore. I mean, we might need more straw for over here. I'm just kidding. We're not really gonna cover all this mud. Hopefully we can get some good grass to grow back here this year too. All right. Ooh. We're out walking dogs again. You're learning. You're getting quieter each time. Yeah, Takes you a little less time each time to get a little quieter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's doing better than these two. <laughs> well, these, those two just saw a squirrel. I was to say, these two are just distracted, so. Memphis is so poofy after her bath. Yeah, they look great. Kira didn't get a bath. Kira just got poofified. Ah. She didn't really need it. I'm like, I guess I don't have to give you one if you don't need it. Memphis <laughs> needed it. Her fur was getting a little coarse. So I'm like, eh, you need it before the expo. Yeah, super Like, ah, so floofy. <laughs> and this dog let me blow out her coat a little bit. I didn't film it, but next time I will. So Next awesome. time. He lets me smell the grass. Yeah. It's starting to look like syrup. So that's all 10 gallons now down to that much. We had 10 gallons total of sap. And now it's down to 
that much. I don't know if we'll finish this tonight. We'll, we might turn it off and then let it cool down and then start it back up again tomorrow, which is fine. We've done that before, but it smells good. <laughs> Memphis, you turned out so poofy. Look at all of this poofiness and so white. Oh, that reminds me. I got to order some more of that white on white pupper shampoo because uh, I think we're out. We're almost out. We'll be out when I give you a bath next. I didn't give you a bath, but you turned out pretty poofy too, just from getting your coat blowed out. A lot of dander and dust came out of that coat of yours. And dirt. And dirt, little missy. Dirt. She's like, don't make fun of me, mom. I'm not. I know. Oh, you're so soft. Oh, so soft. Like puppy soft. Oh, look, there's a puppy. Let's compare. Oh, yeah, like puppy soft. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys. That's all we have for today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again soon. There's your ball. Good night, audience.